r slash ask reddit serious teachers of reddit what is the most disturbing thing your student has ever done student created a booba trap like card for another teacher's birthday that when opened shot out sharpened unfolded paper clips i was stunned by how ingenious of an invention it was my mother is a middle school teacher so she's got some stories but this one from this fall is quite scary. As a class we're getting new assigned seats and waiting at the front of the classroom while the teacher reads out names and seats. A girl, who was pretty quiet but not exactly loner status, stabbed a boy in the back with a pair of scissors completely unprovoked. She jabbed him deep enough to puncture a lung and somehow, this kid didn't notice. It wasn't until 10-15 minutes later when he asked to use the restroom and another teacher saw the back of him soaked in blood. They figured out what happened and who did it. Police were called and she was taken to a children's facility. My mother stopped in at the end of the day to chat with the principal about the incident and what the principal described was quite disturbing. She apparently sat there the entire time the police were talking to her about what she did and why she did it and she had absolutely no remorse. She sat there and nodded. No tears. Gave no reason why she did it. Was told she would be going into a children's facility. Nothing. No reaction. Just sat there staring. This wasn't revenge for something this boy did. They weren't friends and my mom said he's the sweetest thing who enjoys his small group of friends and Pokemon. She did this completely randomly. Middle school English teacher. I had a student pull a tooth out of his own head to get out of silent reading. It was a baby tooth. Thank God, but according to mom it was not loose. He just sat at his desk and grabbed it and yanked it back and forth and popped it out and came up to the desk bleeding all over himself and said he wasn't able to read anymore so could he just put his head down. He was sent to the nurse and mom was horrified. I had a girl who couldn't be in the classroom and had to be on a one. One with me at all times. But she couldn't be in the classroom because she was extremely violent and deliberately stabbed another child in the eye with a colored pencil. Then laughed about it. The other child had to be hospitalized. When we asked her why she did it, she started laughing again and said because I wanted to. She would also randomly attack kids on the playground and in the halls. When they put her on a one. One with me and she couldn't do that anymore. She started attacking me on a daily basis. She was four. I caught some kid trying to take inappropriate photos of his lady friends in the class. When I noticed him doing something fishy, he was directly aiming the camera to where the female students were sitting. I told him to hand over the phone and he got visibly uncomfortable but complied. I handed it over to his form tutor, who was a lady and explained the situation. I figured if there were any photos of female students it wouldn't be okay for me to see it. First sweep through his documents didn't reveal anything. But luckily I thought of suggesting her to check the hidden category and I'm told everything was in there. School took disciplinary action as a result. Back when I was a teacher, one of my students randomly started punching another kid, his friend, in the middle of class. No provocation whatsoever. The puncher was into bodybuilding and pretty in shape. And he had never been violent before in school so this was both surprising and hard to break up considering his size. He broke his friend's nose and was smiling after. Had no idea what he did was weird or upsetting. I had a fifth grader who I swore was sociopathic. His father had deported the boy's mother because he wanted a new wife. If that gives some context to the living situation. The boy would say very aggressive things. Moon students on the bus. Etc. But the behavior was the worst. He'd wait as students left the room so he could be next to last. Turn off the light and backhand the last kid in line. Often his own cousin who was his most common victim. I had to keep an eye on him constantly. He'd also steal electronics and things from his friends. Or force his cousin to do so in case they were caught. P.S. Yes. C.P.S. was involved. This was almost a decade ago so I'm not sure what happened to him. I was a preschool teacher at the time. I was doing group time. Singing songs. Reading a book. And all the kids were sitting on the floor. One left to blow her nose. She came back. Walked through the crowd of kids to get back to her spot. Grabbed a quiet girl's hair. And kept walking. My assistant thought it was a mistake. But the girl kept walking. She even bent at the knees and yanked while the poor long haired girl screamed. That girl had no remorse and would be so unpredictable. She would look in your eyes. But right through them. It was a stressful year.
I have two that stand out. One a student made a hit list and had numerous teachers and students on it. Two I found a letter on the ground that an 8th grader had written that talked about being by her uncle. I gave it to my principal and had to meet with the police to talk to them about the student and finding the letter. Edit. Wow. This is getting a lot more votes than I though it would. Well. Anyway. On a side note. Before I got into teaching I was a youth fitness instructor and summer camp director at a non-profit and I will add this story too. I worked with an 8th grader who clearly had some behavior problems. He would not follow any directions and did not work well with other kids. I was going to remove him from the program but his aunt worked at the same place so I gave him a second and third chance. When his behavior didn't change I was forced to remove him. Years later I found out, randomly reading the news one day, that he, and two other kids, by this time he was 19, had m***ed another kid in town. I'm getting a lot of comments ranging from you did the right thing to my school had a kid who had a hit list too. He was a good kid who never hurt anyone. Point being, as an educator that is entrusted with the well-being and safety of 24 children at a time, my absolute number one priority is to always provide a safe environment and follow all procedures related to threats or violence. No exceptions. I taught third graders for a year, so the kids were around 9 years old. It was a couple of days before summer holidays and I asked the kids what they were going to do during summer. I got to this one girl and asked her what she was going to do and she happily announced she was going to Germany with her sister and parents. I asked her what she was going to do in Germany and she said she was going to ask people if they have one euro. I was like what and she proceeded to sit down on the floor with a really sad look on her face. Stuck her hand out to me and said, see like this. Please miss, do you have just one euro? I'm hungry. She didn't really see anything wrong with this. I'm pretty sure she didn't really understand what she was doing. I was quite alarmed by this so I informed the other school staff. It turned out that even though they weren't actually poor, her parents were regularly taking their two daughters to Germany over summer where they would make them beg for money in the streets. I heard the girl and her sister got pulled out of school shortly after that, but I don't know what happened after since I don't work there anymore. When I was doing student teaching, one of the girls in there would constantly shove her hand down her pants and dig around. I had been trying to work with her on this by discouraging it. One day when I was telling her not to do it, she pulled her hand out and wiped it down my arm. The smell about made me sick. Taught preschool for a couple years, had a three year old in my class who was new to the school. He was cute as a button, the perfect blonde hair and bright blue eyes with rosy reed cheeks. He was a nightmare. He used to just randomly get up and run around the room smacking other kids in the face. He got up one time to come over and punch me and my co-teacher in the stomach. I was able to stop him and put him in a hold that they taught us at my preschool. His parents acted like nothing was wrong. They refused to see that their child had serious issues. The final straw was one day during crafts. He was playing at a different center in the classroom and got up and ran towards a little girl I was helping. She had her back turned to him and he grabbed a triangle shaped building magnet and stabbed her in the neck so hard it cut her. I have never reacted so quickly. I grabbed him up from behind by his arms and immediately walked him to the hallway and down to the main office. I was done. I told my director that he was either out of my class today or I quit. His parents withdrew him that day before we could start the process of expulsion. But my director still got him on some list that basically stays on his school record that he's had these outbursts. I dk what happened to him but I'm sure I'll see him on the news someday. Had a student bite a girl in class, and then get upset and argumentative when I sent him to the dean and gave him detention. He kept insisting it was a joke and she was his friend, but he literally broke skin. I sent her to the nurse. The dean came to me later and was like, he bit her, what? In that same school, had another kid pull down his pants and flash some girls. Another student steal a girl's phone and destroy the sim card so he could sell it. Multiple kids steal snacks that I had brought in for an experiment. And a girl loudly tell me in class that she would accuse me because I wouldn't let her go to the bathroom in class after she routinely spent 30 plus minutes every day out of my class wandering around and was explicitly banned from going to the bathroom in my class by administration. I'm glad to not be working in that hole anymore. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video drop a like and subscribe.
Please check out more of our videos or our playlist. It is perfect for when you want background noise or to put on when you are falling asleep. Once again thank you and have a great day.